Hello. Ooh. Yes, we got a top-down video in the in the new setup. So this is like over my desk in the office. Um, I'm gonna try not to hit the actual like arm of the the camera holder type thingy because it makes an awful twangy type noise. Um, and at some point I want to raise this table up a bit so that I can actually get my knees under proper. I can get like my legs under a little bit, but I like to sit up close to the desk. It's better for your posture and stuff, isn't it? Anyways, I've got um, a nice iced coffee over here. Uh -uh. Cold brew coffee with almond milk and um, pistachio flavouring. Yummy. And I've got two... One, two purchases of eBay of job lots of jewelry to open. This one comes in a rather nice box. No key for it, unfortunately, but the box is nice. It's a sort of like orangey russet color. Um, this one cost thirty pounds, including post. And the second one over there cost um, £35, including post. So, yeah, we're going to take a little look-see. I've had a quick look already, obviously, but not like a proper look. Um, ugh, it's scattered everywhere. There was like bubble wrap in there. I've taken the bubble wrap out. Um, but yes. <laughs> so, first look. This is what we've got. The things that I saw in there this is one of the things that i saw in the listing that i was like oh well i quite fancy that apart from just a box which is nice now don't you be stuck on here there we go um is this cute little french or parisian uh charm bracelet i'm presuming it's all parisian yeah because that's le sacre coeur that's uh, Notre Dame. That's the um, the, um, the Champs Elysees thingy, and that and it says Paris there, so that narrows it down a bit. And I'm presuming that must be Versailles, or is it? Oh, it says the Opera House, I think. Yep, but um, that's cool. I think 1940s these are, but I like a little souvenir bracelet. They're quite cute. So that is something that I would sell in my shop. We've got some earrings that I don't think are particularly old or special. They'll probably just go into a two kilogram job lot of stuff. There's a few pairs there. What we got like these ones want to stay attached apparently. So there's like a knotted pair and then these ones. So that's two pairs to go in and I'm sure they're friends of those will be in there somewhere. This rather sparkly bracelet. I think it's got all, yeah, it looks like it's got all of its stones. Rather lovely. A little snap clasp there. But that's quite a pretty one, isn't it? So that is something that I would sell from my shop. So that's cool. I've got two groovy things so far. Some jade chip earrings. I've sold quite a bit of like jade, some nephrite, and some jade chip stuff like recently so um they'll either go into a job lot or i might sell them separately um i've got a bit of a 70s boho look about it so quite possibly they might go for the summer which would be quite nice and then this is one of the other things that um that i saw in the listing that i thought oh well that looks quite cute so it's an aloxor steel so a lightweight steel bracelet with all of these cute little charms on it but like look see it's like a little record and a musical note and then a padlock and key a little heart with a dancer roman coins a little faux monogram a little clover i think that's very cute i don't know if there's a particular maker that looks very familiar and i'm sure i've had that before but i just can't picture where but it's cute anyway, so that is something, again, that I'll sell in my shop. So I'm like, I'm groovy so far because I've got the box and I've got four things to sell there. So for me, I'm like, right now, I'm at break even. 
so that's cool. So everything after this is is money, money, money. I've got another little chip, a uh, little ring here. Tiger's eye looks like. Sometimes I see Sarah Coventry um, signing things very similar, but no signature on this one. Little pinky wrap ring, kind of cute. Uh, I'll probably sell that one. Got some bangles. Let's pull out the bangles and have a look at them. See if there's. So we've got a mixture of like some modern and some vintage ones by the looks of it. Right. That's quite groovy. I like that. So we've got like Chinese dragons. Um, is it that way around? Yes, that way around. With a Chinese character in the middle. Looks like silver plate. I don't think it's silver. I can't see any marks. Yeah, probably silver plated. But I quite like that. And that's definitely something that I can sell. Um, it looks quite... Yeah, it's reasonably big as well, so it could probably be, be a little bit stretched and worn slightly further up the arm as well. So that's cool. I like that. Something I'll sell. Another one, I think these ones are more common. I see these like uh, with elephants on, camels, um, again, dragons, probably things like that. Something that I can sell, but it won't take... Uh, you know, it won't make a lot of money, but it's cool. Something kind of fun and unusual. These ones will end up in job lots, probably. This little sparkly gold one. This sort of animal-y one. I might start off another, like, beachy tribal one, actually, and put these in. So they'll go into job lots. And this one with, like, the little magnets will probably go into job lots as well. And this little sparkly rhinestone one will end up in a job lot, but that's cool. Down there for job lot. This one's got a little bit of foam mother of pearl in the middle there. Quite cute. Baby gold plated. Possibly. Um... Probably not something I'll sell individual. That will probably end up in a vintage job lot, that one. <laughs> cute little necklace. It's not particularly old, but a uh, cute little teapot necklace. But that will go into a job lot. And the little hair clip as well. Little butterflies. But that will go into two kilo job lot with this necklace as well. So this blue, blue plastic beads. That'll end up in a vintage lot. Not something that I'd sell on its own, but it's cute, made in Hong Kong. Because it says so on the clasp there. Bit kitsch retro, so I'll put that into a vintage lot. And it looks like the same for these beads as well plastic very very lightweight again probably hong kong the little roses uh, little plastic roses with multi strands but they'll end up in a vintage job lot as will these two as well so we've got like um very 80s kind of ones very 50 sort of color that one as well so they'll go into vintage lots got some more earrings. There's the pearly match to that one. Little pearly bracelet, faux pearl. But I can put that into the pearly lot or start another pearly lot because I've just listed one, I think. Oh, there's one coming up. Um, brass, no, no, copper. Brass or copper encased. I don't know. I think it's probably like a real leaf under there that's been like painted with something to make it go hard and metal, maybe dipped in metal. I don't know how it works, actually. Pretty cool, but I'll probably put that into a brooches lot. Another little, a little jangly charm salud. That'll go into a two kilo lot. 
There's a little solo earring here, not gold, not gold, never mind. Got all the bits. There was some stuff in the old baggies as well. I took them out of the baggies just to save time. This was in one of the baggies. Um, pretty, it's like, uh, it's got that lovely topaz blue kind of colour, like London blue topaz, that's what I mean. Quite nice, so they almost look like little moons. I can't see a maker on there. I'm wondering whether this distressing sort of blackened look is actually part of the look, quite possibly. Sort of like an antique gold look. I think it's got all of its stones, and if it does, then that is something that I might sell separately, literally just because of the London blue topaz kind of colour on that, because that is quite pretty. So yeah, that's, there you go, something for me to sell. This sort of, uh, is it faux? Yeah, faux pearl. It's almost, um, got kind of a Gucci or Givenchy sort of logo. It's trying to look like that is sort of a logo, I think. It's quite nice little channel set uh, rhinestones in there. Pretty, but that'll end up into a vintage lot, probably. Fun little charmy bracelet with plastic charms on it. No name or anything. That'll go into two kilo lot. Random bead for broken bits. There you go, there's another pair there. Oh, and another one. There you go, we've got the little bows, little sparkly bows. Right, um, necklace, no maker on there. They're quite nice beads, those. They almost look a little bit tiger's eye or moonstone y, but. That'll go in two kilos. Another um, souvenir coin bracelet. Who's the coins? Wilhelm. Something, something. I don't know. And then is this like a French lady? Emma. I don't know, wing something? I don't know, I'll have to look these up. Maybe it's another French place, is it? That's, I can't quite see. So I don't know where that is. Some kind of coat of arms. Some dude on a coin. Some lady on a coin. Some castle type place. Another coat of arms. Yes, I'll have to look up that lady. See where this is a souvenir from, but that's cool. I hope you saw that. I can't actually see what's, what I've got like on screen right now. So I hope I'm not like just going, ah, oh, look at that. It's not really interesting. I hope you can actually see it. <laughs> but, hmm. Oh, Windsor Castle. Is that what it says? Windsor Castle. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Something for my shop then anyway. This I also saw in it, um, I thought it was quite cool because that looks like nephrite jade, the green in there, because it sort of looks like a bit like kiwi fruit. So I'll test that for nephrite jade and I like that it's a horsey horse on a nice gold colour chain. It's not going to be gold, but it is quite a nice chain. Yeah, there's no marks on it or anything, but that's cool. That's something for my shop. So yay, I'm definitely like up on the deal now and very happy. And this has got a little tag on it. What is it? Just a little, little orange sparkly thing. Is it Envy? I've had an Envy a few times, can't remember what it means. Um, but yeah, little costume. But that'll go into a lot. Another little charmy bracelet with Kinsmen Kinnet charm on it. So I'll look that up and see if it's worth anything. I doubt if that was native to this bracelet. So I might 
possibly like sell the charm separately and put the bracelet in a vintage look. We shall see. A little enamel heart choker necklace. That'll go into a vintage lot and the string of pearls. Are they real? Nope. That'll go into a pearly lot. And then we've got one last one. So this huge mother of pearl one um, with these gemstones on with a snake chain. I'll probably put that into a beachy lot. So I think that's everything. Oh, no. One more earring for that pair there there we go and yes just the random beads which is probably off one of those necklaces there there we go so all that and a box and that was 30 pounds so that's quite cool happy with that let's move on to the second one so this one's considerably heavier and it's in this groovy Estee Lauder, and I'm presuming it was probably a makeup box because it's got all of these, see, like the colour things on them. Colour specialist. So I'm guessing probably would have had like a little palette in there. So this one cost me £35. And there's quite a lot in this one, which is quite nice. Let me move some bits out of the way. Because everything's in packaging, so which is quite nice. Right. And then I will take them out and then I'll need to put them back in later on. But we've got um, a little buckle or scarf ring, probably a scarf ring actually, isn't it? That'll probably go into a vintage lot. This looks like um, like Austrian or Czech, like on brass or German, like a glass brooch. That's quite pretty. That's something that I would sell. You've got the amber glass, it's quite nice. Not missing any stones as well, which is really good. Um, possibly 1950s little rose brooch. Oh, what's it say on the back? It says made in Austria. There's a little bit of glue residue there for some reason. But that's cool. Made in Austria. I might put like a few flowers together and do a little like floral brooch lot. Got a couple of necklaces in here that looks a bit that's quite a nice chain nice fine chain i wonder if that's it's not marked as gold but it's a nice fine chain so i wonder i wonder um i'll keep that aside as something to to test we'll put you there i don't think the little stone on it is set in gold that looks more like gold plating but the chain is quite nice and fine and unusual and different color so hmm, possibly and then we've got a little leaf little enamel leaf that'll probably go into vintage lot the little snakey snake he's quite cool snakey snake ring oh i like him he's kind of fab um says Mexico inside Alpaca Mexico it might possibly be silver, you never know. Possibly. Again, I'll keep him aside to test, but he's quite groovy, I like him. This brooch I've had before. This little floral one. It's quite nice with the green stone. I'll probably Put that in a brooches lot together. There are a few brooches in this one, which is cool. This one is signed. Um, is it signed? Could be signed Hollywood or Exquisite. Can't quite see. 
need my loop, don't I? Ooh, I've got my magnet here. Here's my loop. Are you near without bending over? Sorry, I've also got like an ice pack on my belly to, if you don't know, if you missed, I've had a tummy tuck a couple of days ago, like over the weekend. And so I'm sat here with like a, an ice pack on my belly to help keep the swelling to a minimum. Um, oh, so something craft, I think. I think it begins with an A, no. I'll have to look that up anyway. It's quite pretty and it's signed, so that's good. So I'll keep that separate because it's a little sign thing. Oh yeah, I was gonna magnet test. And is this chain magnetic? Yeah, the chain's magnetic, so not gold, unfortunately. Never mind. Never mind, but hey ho. Another nice little pretty chain with a little sparkly heart. Again, that will go into a little vintage lot. Oh, this one's cute. It's got a little star on it. Little enamel flower on a star. It says Taiwan. Again, the chain's really nice. This little like pipe chain. I don't know what it's actually called. Magnetic, shame. Really pretty. I quite like that. that I might sell that one separately just because it's because the unusual star charm on it. I'm pretty sure I've had this necklace before, another lightweight Luxor steel one. Does it say where it's made? No, but again, it's probably like made in Hong Kong. Quite cool though. Put that into a vintage lot. Another leafy brooch. It's unsigned, but it's got quite a brutalist look about it, isn't it? Almost like teeth. But that'll go into a brooch's lot. Got a little sparkly bow one. These little kind of champagne colour stones. Signed Capri. That'll probably go into vintage lot. We've got a couple of things in here. That's quite a nice chain necklace. See again, all of these things fooling me that they're that they yeah, magnetic. What does it say on the clasp there? It says Hong Kong. Again, nice little probably 1960s, 70s chain. Quite like that, nice for layering, but it would be a choker, wouldn't it? And then we've got a little sparkly enamel bow. That's cute, that'll go into vintage lot. So I've got not, not got much so far to sell separately, but lots for vintage lot, but I know there's loads more in here, so I'm like, I know I'm going to be okay from this one. So we've got some rings. Rings. Got like this carved bone. Bovine bone. Unusual. Very good. A Lindgard. You can see a few of these here. This one's fabulous. Look at this one. That is very good. A Lindgard. Look at that. That's insane. Yowza. That's def these are definitely something I can sell, I reckon. There's a few more smaller ones. Ooh, this one's like a faceted one. This one might be, I don't know if it's plastic or maybe it's done in two parts, but kind of cool. I might lot a couple of them together, a couple of the smaller ones, and then sell like the two bigger ones on their own. That's mad, isn't it? Look at them together. Quite the statement. 
Not sure what the statement is, but it's definitely a statement. So another one. This one almost looks like a guitar pick. But yeah, I'll probably do like these ones together, maybe. And then these two I'll sell separately. Got some more rings by the looks of it. Oh no, scarf ring. A little snaky scarf ring. That'll go into a vintage lot. And this little, oh that's quite nice. Crystal lapel or tie pin. That I might sell separately just because that's kind of nice faceted stone there. Might be on silver. Possibly, keep that aside to test, you never know. Ooh, a bit of faux opal, faux opal. That might be real now. But it's lovely chunks of it anyway, set in resin. That's quite cool. I'm not quite sure if that would be original to this backing. Oh, it can be a pendant as well, which is quite nice. So you can also hang it that way. That's where as well wearing it as a pin. That's something I sell though. That's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? I've had this um, brooch a couple of times, or like similar ones. So it's a little hat with a little sparkles in it that'll go into um, a lot. Some more little necklaces here. So a little enamel dragonfly, cute. I'll go in vintage lot. And then this one looks like another little bit of opal. What's going on here, hang on. Got it dragged, so you're twisted in there. And then, it's weird, why does it do that? But yeah, another little bit of opal in there by the looks of it. Hmm. I might sell that one separately. Maybe I can sell like those two bits together. I don't know. They don't really go together. But yeah, I'll sell them. Another brutalist style leaf look brooch. Like those could go well together, wouldn't they? No signature that I can see on the back there. But yeah, that'll go in a little brooch's lot. We'll leave some flowers and things together. I see what looks like a bit of tiger's eye, possibly. Oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah, a little tiger's eye tube. That's cute. But that'll go into a vintage lot. Nice for layering again. And we've got a little bee. Is it a bee? Or a butterfly? Some kind of flying thing. Anyways. This is a rather fabulous brooch. Very ornate at the back. Stamp brass. Beading in there. Little purple and pink. With glass like faux amethyst. Almost looks like a bug, but then... Hmm. That's really unusual, isn't it? I do like that. I wonder if it would have been painted enamel at some point and it's worn off. I don't know. But... That's lovely, look at that. I wonder if these were like higher up at some point and they've been pushed down. But I do like that. Again, that's possibly like Czech or Austrian, but that's something I'll sell. I like that. And another swirly brooch with a bit of sparkle in it. It looks like maybe the stones have been replaced at some point, no signature on it or anything, but that's kind of fun, almost like an abstract bird. That'll go into a brooch's lot. Got a pendant here, a solo pendant, an unusual rock, maybe Jasper possibly, but it's got lovely, it's a lovely cross section. I mean, you can almost see it. It looks like, like 
like bacteria forming or something, you know, like little fossils trapped in there. I suppose that's what they are, but that's kind of fun. I think I've got like a little, or I started a little job lot of like unusual stone pendants, so that'll go into that. I see a guy coming up that, that looks a lot of fun. Move these forward so you can see that there's more coming. Don't don't worry. This is super cute. I hope it's one. Oh no, is it two necklaces? Oh right, so two necklaces, nice for layering, and they've got these little painted, what feel like ceramic tube beads, little painted roses on. So there's one with all of these stations, and then one solo one dangling down. That's really cute. So I'll sell them as a pair together. That's really nice. Possibly, what, 1960s or 70s? Very cute. I like them. And there's this one. Oh, no, again, two, two necklaces. Are they the same length or...? Right. Here's you there. And here's you there. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, but slightly different stations. So this one's got like, what look like the end of darts. And then this one's got like a little lantern shaped bead. So they're quite nice. So same, but different. I like them. Need a drink, hold on. <sighs> Better. Right, this guy. I also saw this in the listing and I was like, I like him. He looks like fun. So he's a little Harlequin pin, but he's also articulated. So how much fun is he? He's in really good condition. He's got little bob blobs of glue by the looks of it to help keep his limbs together. I don't know what that maker says on there, whether it's the proper maker for the pin. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, Balou. That's, so that's French and I've sold something by them before for like decent money. So um, that could be a nice, a nice little winner there, this dude. So nice to meet you. You like him? Good, good. Some more little chains in here, little bar and chain, and then this little twisty one. Cute, but again, they'll go into vintage lots. Someone to to have fun with. Do some layering up. We've got a little these plastic beads. Again, that'll go in vintage lot. Got some blue ones in here. Lovely colour blue with the gold. Two. So pretty little blue glass crystal beads there on a nice fine chain. That's pretty. I might sell that because it's um, wedding season. And then this kind of modernist choker one. The little twist in it. That'll go in vintage. What? And that's fab. We've got a little enamel bug again. But you will go in to vintage lot. Another sparkly brooch. Kind of looks like a hat. Oh, and it says that's a Sphinx logo there. It's a little bit worn, but the green in it is really nice. But that'll go into a brooches lot. Hmm, slightly darker colour gold. I wonder if it's might be a rolled gold. It says something there. Ah, uh, yeah, rolled gold. A star D foreign. I found out what A star D meant once, and now I can't remember it. Um, but yeah, a little rolled gold brooch. I'll try and sell that one separately. That's cool. Cute little pin, just two little hearts, little sparkly hearts. I'll put that into a brooch's lot, I think. 
and we've got some like green enamel just like scallops so two of them slightly different colors might sell them together they're sort of matching pair in a way nothing on the little tag there but yeah i might sell them With a big brooch big brooch no name on it that's quite a nice shape though isn't it that'll probably go into a brooches lot i thought that was a scarf ring in it i've sold very similar in scarf rings a few times but sort of not but that'll go into a brooches lot This one's unsigned as well. Almost like an abstract heart in a way. But that'll be for a brooches lot. This one's quite unusual. It's got a nice texture to it. It's like matte gold. Any signature? Don't think I can see a name on there, but that's quite... It's almost like the Audi logo in a way. <laughs> but I quite like that. So I'll sell that one in my shop because it's a bizarre one. Got a little pocket watch, Pierre Nicole. I don't think it's particularly old, but a little, that'll probably just go into a little watches lot. I'll look up the name, obviously, just in case, but I don't think, don't think that's going to be anything crazy. I'm hoping that, that that might be a bit of silver there. That's why I've kept it aside. What have we got in here? Right. So we've got some pretty rings. That's quite nice. Enamel ring. I wonder if it is it a heat up. Oh, it changes colour. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I like that. So a mood ring, but like with different colours. So that might be something I'll sell. And then we've got something with that looks like end of day glass on a bit of wire. That might be silver wire. So I'll test that. And then we've got some mother of pearl, possibly in some silver. There's some marks on the inside, but can't tell what they are. But I'll test that. Some like diamond etched, possibly stainless steel. I'll test it just in case. And then this tiny little one, which I'll test just in case as well for silver. And then this one. That's a lovely stone. I wonder what kind of stone that is. There's no gold in it, so it's not lapis. Don't know. And I can't see any marks for silver. Let me take a closer look at the pin. Hmm. Can't see any marks. But that definitely looks like a silver mount, doesn't it? I'll keep that aside to test. Oh, and you thought that was the end, but no. Uh -huh. There is another tray of it. I'm going to get this box out of the way. Yes, there is more. So, there's little packs of earrings. They look like silver, don't they? They're quite nice with like black enamel. So we'll keep them aside to test. And then we've got little bezel set ones. They're quite cute. No marks, no maker or anything. I'll probably put them in vintage lot. We've got three like bangles, like, uh, you know, like Russian rings tricolor right there's that mark on it um, i think that might be amway i'm not sure i'll have to look it up again but 
that I'll sell. That's cool. Looks like a little clampy type bangle. It's got um uh, like Millie Fury glass in it. Yeah, I'll sell that one. That's quite cute. And another bangle. I think I'm doing well on my £35, by the way, from this one, for sure. Especially if some of them end up being silver. That's cool. I quite like that. It's got a chunky stone in the middle. Nicely faceted. Quite groovy. I think I'll sell that one. Some rather sparkly earrings. They look signed. they got these AB. They're almost like... Tree right? Yeah. They look a little bit um, uh, like clover leaves. Signed Coro on the back, so that's good. Need a little bit of a clean up at the back, but the fronts look okay. Nice and sparkly, lovely. It looks like some more silver in here, possibly. So I think these might be foreign silver, this little filigree bit. And oh, it's got screw on backs. That's mm, not ideal because it means you can't wear and um, it's missing one as well. So if they are silver, I might have to scrap them, unfortunately, because I don't have another screw back. These look like silver. Are there any marks? There might be a mark on there. Let's see. Possibly, I'll have to test them, but they look like silver. And these look more like steel. They've got 925 on the backs. They're quite groovy. I'll test them as well. Some more clip-on style here. Ooh. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, look at them. Okay, that's my favorite thing so far. Lovely green stone. I'm hoping they're emeralds. That would be nice. Um, can't see any marks, but like the backs of them are really lovely as well. I'm hoping that's in silver or, you know, white gold, but obviously, you know, probably silver. But they're lush. I'll keep them aside to test and to test for emeralds because they're lovely. And got some little cameo clip-on earrings. They're cute. Um, might sell them separate. They're cute. Lots of earrings in this bottom one by the looks of it. These are cool. Again, some kind of stone. Not sure what sort of stone that would be. A coral, maybe? I don't know. Something in strips. You can see there's a strip, like a line there. I wonder if that's on silver. I'll test that as well, just in case. Unusual. Some sparklies. There's three pairs in here. So we've got some little kind of half hoop things. Are they silver? I don't know. I don't think so, but I'll test them anyway, just in case. I don't think they are, but you never know. And these are nice, some more little bezel set dangly ones. Is that a mark there? Or is that, I think that's the gold plating coming off. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's the gold plating coming off, unfortunately. But they can go into the vintage lot. And then these ones are, see, like, faux. Like, they're like clip-on ones. They've got lovely marker seats in them. They look like they might be silver, but I can't see any marks, so 
Again, I'll keep them aside, test them. They're rather blackened, so you never know. Oi, that just could be the, the colour of them. Lots of little packets of earrings, so many earrings. Got some little danglies, little crystally danglies. No marks, probably gold plated, but cute. What do we think? Mm, I don't think they're gold. They go in vintage lot. They're cute. Again with the little amber colour glass stones. They'll go into a vintage lot. And then these with the the grey, can't remember what it's called, stone. The magnetic one. Except it's not. Um into a vintage lot. Right, come on. Oh my god. There's so many packets of earrings. So many. Oh my god, there's loads. Right. Let's whiz through some, shall we? Okay. These all look like silver to me. All look like silver. Anyone want to admit to not being silver? Nope. That's good. So we've got like little flowers and the hearts and dragonflies. So that's cool. Dragonflies, <gasps> hedgehogs, look, little pair of hedgehogs, cute, flowers, uh, little ball ones, here's the hearts, uh, little stars, and little shells, so happy with them if they're all silver, that's fab, it does look like they are. And some more that all look possibly like silver. Again, let's quick test. Let go with you. Nope, none of them admit into not being silver. So we've got some, that's nice, some turquoise ones. Some what look like malachite ones. Lovely. Little blue crystal ones, little red crystal flowers, oh they're nice, nice kind of star sunburst ones, I like them, some little sparkly gem ones, and then these kind of cut out ones, brilliant again if they're all silver, amazing. These all look like, yeah, faux pearly ones. So these are probably going to my faux pearl lot. These look new actually, don't they? Are they silver? Mm, no, I don't think so. They'll go into a two kilo lot. And then these into a pearly lot. Here we go. So many earrings. Um, these look like fun. We've got some dangly ones. So I quite like them. Quite like those. And then we've got some little door knocker type ones. They almost look like, like little life boys. I'll put them in vintage lot and I'll put them to sell separately. Some more possibly silver earrings. Possibly. Oh, right, these ones are magnetic, okay. So possibly not silver them. Okay, that's fine. And then Got little black enamel flowers. Do, do, do. Some more little silver flowers. Um, 
Ooh, I like the hexagons. That's cool. I think, oh, little mouse. Oh, that's so cute. Right, hexagons. The mice are adorable. That's so cool, little mice. And then little snake, maybe, snakes. And then some bows. So I'm hoping they're all silver, because that's fab. And some groovy clip-ons, I like them. Ooh, that's something I'll sell, why not? Groovy. Got some dangly ones. They'll probably go in vintage lot. And then some Monet ones, fabulous. So I'll sell them. Um, are these going to be gold now? I don't think so. I don't think. Like, they're not. They're cute, though. Little plastic flowers. I'll put them in vintage lot. And then some little other little enamel flowers. I don't think they're particularly old. And then these ones, um, I'll test, but I don't think, like, they... I don't think they're going to be gold, any of these. They might be real gems, so they might be garnet. But I'll test them, but I don't I don't think they're going to be gold. But I'll keep them aside. I say aside, that's there. Because you never know. And we've got some dangly chain earrings with little... Enamel ovals, no marks, no tea staining. I don't think we'll be gold, but again, we'll test them. And then, oh, some little clover leaves. These are all like this must be a little job lot of like good luck ones because we've got clover leaves there, some little blue dots. There's wishbones. There and good luck horseshoes. They'll go in two kilos, little hearts. And little black ones. And then just one of these, which I don't think is anything. What's it say on the back there, though? Avon. Yeah, it's probably a job lot of Avon bits, isn't it? They're probably all Avon as well. Um, put you there. Some, oh, signed Monet earrings. That's cool. So we've got some probably gold-plated Monets. And these, yep, these are Monet as well. What does it say on there? Monet, yep. So some more Monet earrings, that's cool. Some more earrings, so many. Right. Now I've had these ones before that have ended up being gold, so I'll test them. And then purple ones Um, I don't think they are they're gonna go in two kilos the little orange ones the little green ones these are quite nice with the little Swarovski cubes I like them I'll test them I don't think they're gold but even if they're not I'll probably sell them at any way because they're quite unusual and then these ones have just got like little Black stones, I'll probably put them in vintage lot. I don't know how long this has been, by the way. I'm sorry if I'm boring you, but you know. Right, a couple more silver ones in here, possibly. Um, well, they look like stainless steel. I'll put them in vintage lot. You've got these ones, they're fabulous. Might sell them. I like them. 
Um, a little bit of turquoise, possibly in silver there. Keep them there. Some little pearly ones. Faux pearls. Put them in faux pearl lot. Some little stars. They look similar to the ones before. And these look silver. Possibly with some hematite in. And then these look like possibly garnets, maybe, in silver. Well, lots of silver studs if there are, which is great. Some more earrings. I promise you it's nearly the end of the earrings. Oh, these are lovely. Quite modern, I think, like with a vintage look. No name on them, but they've got a bit of an Art Nouveau look about them, so... I'll sell them because they're nice. They're nice. Yes, more earrings. More earrings. Yep, these look silver. So we've got some little like diamond cup flower ones. Got little roses. Um not sure about Mm, possibly. It's got little knots, which may or may not be. Little bows. Maple leaves. Is it, or, yeah, maple leaves. Little flowers. And then just little round ones, little balls. That's a lot if there are. Right. Okay, let's have something else. <laughs> Oops, so we've got our cute little chain with little sparkly hearts on. Can't see any marks. I wonder if it's silver. I'll keep that aside for testing, possibly. It might just be silver plate. And then that. That is super cute. That looks like lapis, doesn't it? Or solar light. That looks like silver. I'm sure it says sterling on there. It does indeed. So that is super cute. Definitely something that I want to sell. That's lovely. Lovely. I think that's possibly one of my favourites as well so far. This is really nice. Lovely Millefiori glass bracelet, probably like a souvenir thing from, um, from Italy. But yeah, that's super cute. Really nice. I'll sell that. Uh, oh, we've got a little modern chain in here. Not quite sure. Well, oh, it's like um, it's one of those. So it's a ring and then bracelet like that that's quite pretty actually isn't it that'll go into a two kilo lot and this one as well i think it's the same kind of thing um these is that matching bracelet to to that almost oh yeah it is and then this one, it's got lovely waves on it. That looks like silver. Are you going to be silver? It looks like it should be, doesn't it? Where are your marks? Can't see any marks. But that's highly likely that that is silver. So I'll keep that aside to test because that's really nice. These I'm hoping are Baker-like because they are fab. They definitely have potential to be Baker-like. Look at that colour. That one's a little bit loose. But look at them. They're fab, aren't they? I will test them for Baker-like. I think they're cool though. I like them. I like them a lot. Even if they're not Baker-like, they're like they're awesome. So 
they will still sell. They are pretty groovy. Got some nice little chains here. That's probably gold plated, I think. See a little bit of residue there and a bit of darkening. Hmm. Don't think, don't think it's gold. Shall I put on the test just in case? It's not gold. It's going in vintage lot. These are not gold. But again, cute little chains, handy chains. Going in vintage lot, nice little rope twist one. Nice for layering. But, oh, right, there's a few chainy bits in here. Oh, there's four. Right, okay. Two, three, four. Possibly silver. Hmm. Right, the clasp is a bit magnetic, but, you know, they normally are. So I'll put that aside to test. Can't see marks on that one. I'll test that one. Test that one. And I'll test that one. So possibly four silver chains there, you never know. Got a magnetic leather clasp thing with like foil in there, but I'll put them in two kilo there's another similar one here with sparkly bits yeah they'll go into a two kilo lot and then last couple of bits now we've got that looks a bit like mother of pearl dyed mother of pearl that's quite pretty see how it's like green as well and then that looks like coral but it could be glass as well because it's cold but it's not silver i think anyways that'll put into a vintage lot and then this is the last thing this weird leather strap thing bit of enamel on there might be handmade i don't know but what does that say FOS 18 millimeter. I'll probably just put that into two kilo lots. So there we go. Right. I think I've done really well just anyway in general, but I've also got all of this stuff to test. So let's do some of that, shall we? Let's bring this forward a bit. I've got this here, but first of all, I do want to test for baker light, so I need to find that stuff without bending too far. Can you hear me? Right. So. I've got to find a cleanish yeah I'll do and some simichrome polish just take a little bit on there rub it on the back and if it looks like a nicotine stain has been left on the cotton wool then it's Bakelite oh yeah I would I would cocoa. So yay. Awesome. I'll probably do it again, like at some point. But yeah, I reckon that's them some Bakelite. Bakelite clip on earrings. Fabulous. That's like most of my money back. Um right there. Let's see at least half, I would have thought. So that's pretty groovy all right now let's test these bits for gold even though i'm pretty sure that they're not like 
99% sure that they're not going to be gold. Right. I know these aren't because it was magnetic a second ago, though, so... Sorry for the creakiness of my chair. Right. I don't think they're going to be... And I don't think they're going to be... Nearly lunchtime soon, surely. I think I might have been going for about an hour now, isn't it? At least. Mum's gone shopping, she fancied a mooch. I'm having proper like cabin fever. Oh well they're definitely not gold because they got wrong colour backs. Hmm. Um these ones. Oh, not even scratching good. I don't think any of these are gold, guys. I don't think I've got secret gold today. I think they might be gold-plated stainless steel. But hey-ho. Doo doo, are they all disappearing? Yeah. So none of them are gold, unfortunately, but I'll put them all into vintage lot. Because they've got a definite vintage retro look to them. So that's okay. That's okay, no gold, never mind. Right. I'm not going to test every single one of... Oh, hang on, I missed something here earlier. Oh, it's another one of those bracelets, like the little heart ones. So I'll test that for silver right now. I won't test all of these, because a lot of them I do actually think are silver. But I'll test them. And those ones. I'll test ones that I'm, like, on the fence about. Um... And yeah, those ones. Okay. That looks like silver. Possibly not. Yep. And yep. What else? I'll check the hexagon ones. Oh no, they're silver. Where's the other one gone? Um, oh, and these earrings. Yep, that looks silver to me. And these ones. Look silver to me. Oh, there was a lot of earrings, wasn't there? Get all the earrings done. And then we'll do the rings and the chains. And the brooch, right. Oh yeah, and these beautiful earrings. Now, is that all the earrings out? And these ones. Okay. We're on a mission. Possibly not these ones. Not scratching well. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yep, looks promising. Ooh. Yep. And we're really hoping that these lovely ones are. 
Can you see this okay? Oh yep, scratching good. Promising, promising, promising. Oh, hang on, that's the door. Right, you sit there and watch them. I'll go get the door. Amazon delivery just abandoned at the doorstep. Right, how's that looking? So that looks like yes, no, yes, 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 no, yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Okay, so all of them ended up being silver, so that's brilliant. We've got nice silver heart bracelet there can you see yep all of these earrings ended up being silver including those clip-on ones and including these ones which are my favorite so far so we'll test them in a bit for emeralds as well i reckon all of these are going to be silver studs so that's fab and then let's do should we do the rings next three, four rings and that pin and the brooch. So let's go one, mm, possibly not on the abalone ring. Put them over there again. But possibly not that. Possibly not the snaky ring. Possibly not that one. Looks better on that one. And then this little stick pin. Nope, doesn't look like it. And the brooch. Looking good. And it's saying, oh, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes. Okay, so the abalone one is silver. That one is silver and the brooch is silver as well. They're just all unmarked. I wonder why, if that's why they put them in here. So I'll put that into a ring, no, into the vintage lot. That one I'll sell anyway because it's a cool snake. That's good. And then we've got all of these chains here. Oh, and there's another little ring. Right. Little ring. And then this little heart one I don't think is going to be, but... And then this wavy one, which I quite like. Oh yeah, that's looking promising. Right, let's do the three chains last because they're running out of space. Um, little tiny ring is silver. That is not, so that'll go into a vintage lot. And that is silver. Nice. Awesome saucems. And then just the last three chains. Or four chains. One. Two. Four. 
and that's going yes 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 and yes all silver again i got four silver chains none of them marked but how cool is that i wonder if these the silver See, now I'm just like, is everything silver? Uh, no, not them. Never mind. But that's fab. So I've got all of these uh, silver studs. And then, lovely silverness here. I was going to test that one as well, wasn't I, from earlier? I don't think it is. Nope, not silver. But that's awesome. So lovely silvers, silver, silver. Oh, all these chains, these rings, that lovely bracelet. So really pleased with all of that. Like that is just bonkers. Um, definitely these favorite. So I'm going to Presidium test these now. So, gem tester out. Move this aside. Right. So, power on. Need the little pin thing in a second when that stops flashing. So it needs to acclimatize itself. It needs for that pin to acclimatize itself to um, the heat of the room. It will do it eventually. Come on. Taking a little bit longer because it's a bit colder in here. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Push the little thing in there to say that I would like to calibrate it. Calibrate. Until it beeps. And then wait for it to flash again. And then I do the glass calibration. So it knows the difference between glass and diamonds. Here we go. And now let's test these little green stones. Ah, uh, sadly not emeralds, just looking like glass. It's a shame because they really do have the color of emeralds. That one's just getting into emerald though. It really does look like an emerald. Mm. And then what about the white stones? Sorry, just hit metal then. That's why it buzzed crazy. And they're going into topaz. Hmm. All right, I'm not ruling out emerald yet because that is just going into emerald past glass. And the other stones are testing as topaz. So, and they really do look like emeralds. I think they're gorgeous anyway. What do you think? Those are my favorite things from today. I think they're lovely. Yay. But yeah, I think from my, um, what, 60 pounds overall, or 65 pounds overall for this, I am super duper well chuffed. I've got Bakelite, I've got silver, got possibly emeralds i am chuffed yay right well done if you managed to sit all the way through this i'm gonna have some lunch now but um i shall see you all again soon remember if there's anything that you fancy do email me 
email address is always underneath this video um, in the description box. So email me or message me through Instagram and I'll sort you something out. But yeah, until next time, bye-bye now, bye-bye.